Hi, hi. I haven't put up a video in a couple weeks. Um, I actually woke up sick the day after Thanksgiving. So granted, my husband was sick kind of the week before. Um, there's been that new flu bug that's been kind of going around. So uh, luckily I didn't actually get the flu, but I just wasn't feeling well for um, the next week after that. And um, my son was kind of sick too, but we are all good now. So let's um, take a look around. Okie dokie. So for starters, I see that I've got some leaves that have dropped. Um, we did have snow. Gosh, I can't believe it's actually snowing. I did not realize that for the week that I was sick, I kind of trusted everything was working out fine in here, and I really should have at least checked a couple times, but I did not. So I did not know that the Christmas lights and everything in here just kind of went out. So I don't know how many days the electricity had been off, but it was enough to affect a few of the plants. and you know, a lot of leaves dropped here and there, but also looks like even some of my grapefruits kind of lost their usual luster. Or that might just be the fact that they're changing color. I don't know. They're definitely lighter in color now. Um, maybe I'm just imagining things. one's still got some shine to it. Usually I always figure that if the color gets a bit dull on them, then they're not doing well and they're gonna drop off. But it looks like my Meyer lemon is still doing all right. There's plenty of lemons on this thing everywhere. This guy oh, still has some green spots on him. And it's actually still kind of firm to the touch so I'm sure it's probably not ready but yeah a few dropped leaves that one didn't break off usually if a leaf is not gonna stay on it just kind of comes off with the touch so ooh but look at this you guys look it new blossoms Oh my gosh, that's just so cool, isn't it? I don't know, maybe it's just me. I think that's really cool. Oh, another one right there. Oh, one right there. Oh, oh I guess we had some flowers that opened. Oh, wow. Super duper cool. Well, that's pretty neat. Holy cow! My Kara Kara, look at it! Holy cannoli! I don't know, I kind of feel like if you guys went back and looked at my November video, I don't believe that her leaves were this full. And a lot of this feels like the new growth. It has that soft, really soft texture. Um, down there looks good whoa and look at this this is the blood my Moro blood orange holy cow look at all that new growth more new growth down there oh my gosh that's just so exciting you guys I 
feel like I'm fangirling over an anime or something, but I, I seriously get excited by all that stuff by plants. You're looking the same. Ooh. You're looking like you got a lot more leaves than you had last time I saw you. Oh my goodness! Holy cow! This is my variegated pink lemon. Look how huge and lush these leaves are with all this new growth on the top. And then check that out. More new growth down here. And then, oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. So beautiful, oh my gosh. Now, about this limb that's kind of all out like that, I kind of wonder if I should like try to pin it straight up or should I just leave it be? I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments, whether I should kind of pin it to train it upwards. Um, Cause if I was going to do that, now would be the time while it's still kind of so soft and pliable. But, oh my gosh, that's just so, so cool. My Owari. I don't know what is up with him. It looks okay though. Just no new growth or anything that I see at this time. Kumquat looks the same. Oh, all my onions. Look at that, you guys. These are all my onions. I think I have like um, six different varieties. Let's see. These guys are two different ones and these three squares. Those three and those three are two different ones. And then the first two rows are all the same. Um, and these weird little things over here are onions too that I just kind of grew in this like styrofoam deal just to, just because I like to put seeds in like just about anything to see if they'll grow. So I got onions. Oh, holy cannoli. Oh my gosh. All the broad beans and peas are just, oh, and those are the broad beans that I transplanted. Obviously they kind of are turning into like a floor vine now. That's interesting. Ah, uh, my daikons are all doing good. Probably ready to be watered. I actually didn't have to water this for a long time. Ooh, actually it still feels pretty damp underneath all the rice holes, so it's probably okay. Uh, ooh, check out my, <laughs> oh, my bok choy. Look at that. Is that not cool? That is like, so cool. Look at that one shot up too. Over here was the smaller one. That one's got some growth on it as well. And the kales have some height. Oh, and I seriously need to transplant these guys out. I swear I'm going to. I know I say that like every video, but really, I will transplant them out. If anything worse comes to worse, I'll do it this weekend. But holy cow. My. Little dwarf tomatoes actually had a little bit of powdery mildew on some of the lower branches, so I did have to clip those off. Since I clipped them off, they're doing better now. These are my Chinese cabbage. They actually put on some growth, it looks like. Yeah, you can't really tell from the top, but from the... Look at this guy over here, shooting up. He was my one that got nibbled by earwigs but has since then recovered and yeah, so that's totally cool. Napa cabbage, Chinese cabbage, whatever you want to call it. Oh, these kales shot up too. 
Oh, that's so cool. Whoa, my red vein sorrel, which I have no clue what that tastes like, but it must be like some kind of lettuce. But all these guys, oh, these are my, my Catskill Brussels. Doing well. This guy is a spinach. Spinach is the one thing that for some reason I have not had a whole lot of success with yet. But I'm about to like seed a whole new batch. Or so I said I was gonna do two weeks ago, but um, as you can see, I haven't actually planted them. So but anyways. Oh, these guys look a little bit worse for wear. Probably from when it was super cold in here. Died out. These are um, the leaf broccoli, Spigarella. That's what it's called. Uh, carrots down there are all still doing good. My camellia is not happy looking, but I suspect that's probably just yeah probably just because she needs water so i think she'll bounce back but, so there we have it you guys um oh and actually there was something special i wanted to show you guys that i hadn't really brought up before and that is that i actually have one more citrus that i hadn't talked about and that citrus is inside my house. So let's go inside for a second. Okay, so now we are inside my office. Yes, it's an actual office, but uh, it's kind of used as a storage room for all my uh, Amazon boxes and my artwork and things, which you can't really see because everything's all like buried and whatnot, but. <laughs> yeah, I paint too. <laughs> uh, anyways, this, my friends, is Grandpa. Grandpa is a 15-year-old lime that has always lived in this pot. And uh, earlier in the fall, I got a call from somebody that I call Grandpa Be Becker, <laughs> which whom I love a lot because, you know, I came to this country kind of without relatives and so he allowed me to call him grandpa because I don't really have a grandpa but anyways I called this grandpa because grandpa gave it to me and when he gave it to me I was all excited to take him home and everything because his wife and him just didn't feel that they gave it the care that they believed that grandpa deserved and since I had all the other citrus he figured that I would be the best person to take care of it. So anyways, he dropped it off at work and oh my goodness, the plant had lots of leaves on it, but they were like yellow and brown and just diseased and it was totally infested with scale and stuff like that. So the poor thing was just, yeah, it was in need of some love. So I literally sat in our work parking lot for an hour with some gloves on and some scissors and I, well, you see what I did. I pruned the heck out of it. I cut off absolutely everything to give it a fresh brand new start, which I might not have done for a younger plant, but since it was 15 years old, I trusted that it would bounce back pretty easily. So I can, um, I'll be sure to show some pictures of kind of, Anyways, I only just realized this week that he's been growing. Like, look at this crazy flush of growth, you guys. It's so just awesome. Like, all this new growth. You know, just oh, even these little, little limbs here and everything. All kinds of new growth on here. It's just... 
It's so exciting to me. So I have no doubt that um, once spring comes around and I set Grandpa outside with my other citrus so he'll finally be able to mingle with the siblings for the first time because when I brought him home, oh my goodness, I just totally hosed him down and everything and I even had like the base in a garbage bag. put the thing in my car but yeah I hosed it down completely I sprayed it with um, some fungicide and other natural stuff and I basically let it sit outside for like two weeks I didn't let it go anywhere near my other citrus because you know I've never had any issues with scale or anything else it's kind of like you know if I see any scale I take care of the individual bugs but um I repotted the entire thing, gave it all new um, soil mixture, which is the same as all my other citrus and some fertilizer and just, it's been inside my office um, since November. And I am just so ecstatic that <laughs> the signs of it doing well super duper cool and if you're wondering what the little black specks are because i mean i know you guys know that i use um, rice hulls for mulch but the little black things is kind of an experiment they're um neem cake they're like little neem cake pellets and i was actually putting them in like a gallon of water and trying to get the water to break them down i poured it in those are just kind of the pieces that didn't dissolve but i am trying out neem cake because it's supposed to be a fertilizer and something that messes with um, gnats, apparently. And I'm trying to get rid of gnats because there's currently a lot inside my greenhouse. So I got to put yellow stickies in there and see what else I can do. So if you guys have any suggestions on how to deal with gnats in my greenhouse, please, please put those suggestions down below. I would seriously appreciate it. Well, you guys, um, that's pretty much all I got for you this week. So I will come up with another video in another week. I'm going to try my best to release um, videos every weekend. And um, until then, take care, stay healthy, and keep on growing.